Corrosive substance. There are various kinds of chemicals in a laboratory. Organolithium reagents and hydroxides are strong bases. Sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, and nitric acid are the three common strong acids, whereas hydrofluoric acid is a weak acid. Chromic acid and pyridinium chlorochromate are oxidizing agents. All of these are corrosive substances, which are chemicals that cause visible destruction of or irreversible alternations in living tissue by chemical reaction at the site of contact. They could potentially cause different degree of burns when in contact with skin. In recent years, there are many incidents involving the pouring of strong acids to passers-by. In this newspaper article, a 63-year-old man was arrested for pouring acid to a woman in Lamtin. That woman felt burns in the back near the waistline, and the acid burned holes in her clothing. In another newspaper article, a 15-year-old boy was charged by pouring sulfuric acid on a woman at a Changsha Huan industrial building. In this demonstration, we will pour concentrated sulfuric acid on a thick lump of pork. Shortly after pouring of the concentrated acid, the surface of the pork turned grey, indicating severe damage of tissue. Concentrated hydrochloric acid contains 37% of hydrogen chloride by weight. It is very volatile and gives out pungent hydrogen chloride gas. The condensates on the beaker actually come out from the hydrochloric acid. What's worse is that when we inhale the hydrogen chloride gas, it dissolves in the lung to give hydrochloric acid, which damages the lung tissue. Hydrofluoric acid is an extremely dangerous acid. It is fairly lipophilic and penetrates deeply human flesh. It is particularly prone to bone which contains a rich source of calcium ions. Hydrofluoric acid reacts with calcium ions to give insoluble calcium fluoride. A small amount of hydrofluoric acid absorption can lead to amputation of affected limb or even death. A woman had her tips of her toes amputated after being poisoned by hydrofluoric acid. Concentrated sulfuric acid is famous not only for the acidity but also the dehydrating property. This demonstration shows the reaction between concentrated sulfuric acid with sugar. After stirring the sugar with concentrated sulfuric acid, the sugar turned into cha and gave out large amount of heat. Concentrated sulfuric acid extracted water from the sugar, leaving carbon behind. Imagine how dangerous it can be if it is accidentally spilled on the skin. Corrosive substances should be stored carefully in well-designed cabinets. The inside of the cabinet should be made from Teflon, which can resist acids and bases. There are trays to retain any spillage. The cabinet is connected to the film hood through a pipe and the corrosive vapor can be evacuated. Other than that, there is compatibility issue to note. For example, acids are stored in acid cabinets and should not be put together with bases because the accidental spillage or mixing could result in vigorous reactions. Corrosive substances should be handled with care. Personal protective equipment such as lab coat, goggles, and gloves is mandatory. 
read the material safety data sheets for the concerned chemicals and finally handle the corrosive substances in a well-ventilated film hood with scrubber turned on. The scrubber neutralizes the acidic or alkaline vapor before discharging to the outside environment. In case of accident, stay calm and ask for assistance. Wash the affected area with flushing water for a minute. If it gets into eyes, immediately go to the eye wash. Take out the eye wash and press the knob so that water shoots to the eyes. Keep washing for a minute to dilute any acid in your eyes. These are spill kits which are used to contain any spillage of acid base and softened on the table or floor. Acid and base should be diluted prior to disposal. Dilution should be done inside the film hood. The acid or base is poured slowly to a large amount of ice-cold water with stirring. After dilution, pour the solution to the acid waste drum. Different chemicals have their own method of disposal. Check with the material safety data sheets before disposal.